Alright, today we're going to look at Higuchi's hand fight. And this dude is fast. Alright, and his hand fight reflects that. His main goals are really to either get the opponent's hands up or get around their arms. I mean, he doesn't do a whole lot of controlling ties or moving the guy or taking ground. He's got great foot speed and really hand speed. His hands are fast. Um, so for that advantage for him is to get their hands either up so he can go under them or their hands down and across so he can go around them. I'm telling you, this guy is fast. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so very first concept we're gonna look at is getting the opponent's hands up. All right, here we see he's in space. Higuchi reaches, his opponent reaches to catch his hand, which is one of the things he's kind of doing a lot of, is getting the guy to chase his hands. So when he reaches up, he can go underneath the guy's arm. Right underneath. And into a single leg. So one more time, this is one of the main concepts. Gets opponents to reach up, and then into the leg. Similar thing here, all right? This one, he does a lot of like fake touch is what I've um, known it as. Um, but all it is is him just reaching up, touch the guy's head or shoulder and then opponent's hand comes up. We're gonna see Higuchi's hand start to come up. And right here, looks to touch the opponent's head, try and get the opponent to reach up. Either fight back inside, control his elbow, control his wrist, something that makes the opponent's hand reach up. And there we see the opponent's hand. All right, and Higuchi goes right underneath it. Let me take a quick look at his other hand. Um, as long as his left hand is free, that's his attack hand. Um, so as long as his left hand is free, he's good to attack. Uh, so here the opponent's controlling his right hand. And we're gonna see as he attacks that it doesn't bother him one bit. All right. Again, it's gonna get opponent's hand to come up. So here he's like wrist fighting. Either he's trying to gain control of wrist or just acting like it. So his opponent tries to get it back. Hand comes up the shoulder, head touch. Opponent's hand comes up to retie with Higuchi. See the opponent fight inside. This hand comes up and in. And then as that hand comes up, Gucci's. Cause so I'm fast. As we go through this, we're gonna see that Higuchi's hand fight is way different than Sitikov's, where Sitikov looks to, if you've seen that video, Sitikov looks to like control position. Higuchi is just literally looking for hands to come up or to get their arms across so he can use his speed to get to their legs. All right, now we're gonna take a look at, um, I mentioned earlier that he didn't mind if the opponent grabs his right hand because his left hand is his attack hand. Um, let me tell you, it is a mistake if you cross grab Higuchi's wrist. All right, so what I mean by that is if the opponent takes their right hand and grabs Higuchi's right hand, or wrist he's probably getting to your legs All right. he's gonna use it to go around your arm and then to your leg so here we see opponents got two hands on Aguchi's right hand and even even in this scenario um, I don't know if it's out of habit or if it's actually doing something really but he will even um, do his like head touch we can see his hand come up right here uh, before he attacks just in case I guess if the opponent lets go of the wrist their hand will be chasing his hand maybe 
or maybe it's just out of habit that he touches head and then attacks very often. All right here as he attacks. Now here we can really see opponent's hand grabbing his hand and he's taking their hand across and basically just ignoring their arm and then getting to single leg. And as he attacks here, I know this is more of a uh, hand fight video, but something worth mentioning. He basically looks at the opponent's arm here as their leg. So same shoulder position as it would on the leg. And he's kind of going around their arm to their leg while making contact with it. Here we're going to see a similar thing. In space, reaches up. Here we see head touch again, but look at the opponent's hand. Big, big mistake. Big mistake. All right. So let's cross grab Higuchi's wrist. Higuchi's going to go right around his arm. All right. Shoulder and ear position on the guy's arm, just like it would be if um, his arm wasn't there. So shoulder to ear position, tight to arm. And if his arm wasn't there, it would be shoulder and ear position, tight to the leg. All right, here we get to really start to see his hand and foot speed um, on this fake drag. All right, so in this first clip, again, doesn't care if it has his wrist control. We see him touch the opponent's elbow or tricep sometimes to fake drag. Now, when he does this, the opponent's weight is going to shift toward the side Higuchi actually wants to attack. All right, and it's very subtle, but it's enough for Higuchi to get to his leg in a good position. So here we see him elbow touch. We see the opponent shift slightly this direction. There's a shift. And then now, as they try to sprawl, they're at a much, much worse angle to defend a single leg and they don't have the initial weight that they normally would on the attack. Here we're going to see another fake drag. All right. So, again, hand just touches elbow. And then we see the opponent's hips go away from the drag as if he was um, looking to defend the drag side of his body, which is what he thinks is happening. So Gucci touches, opponent's hips go to the left, right into the Gucci single leg. I mean, maybe at this point in the video, you might be thinking, well, it's not really doing much hand fighting. This is all just like setups, which, yeah. I mean, I think we have to look at his hand fight through a setup lens because he's so fast that he doesn't do much to control or push and pull the guy to off balance him. Um, most of his hand fight is either on wrists or making the guy reach. All right, now we're going to start to get into what is my favorite attack that Higuchi does. Um, his actual drag, not his fake drag. So here we see his opponent grabs his hand. And again, he doesn't care if that wrist is being controlled. He'll just drop, rotate it straight down. So when he drags, he wants the opponent's hand down 
and then his other hand to come across and then pull the opponent's arm through. All right, and he can do that from wrist like we see here. This is another one where the opponent has his wrist. Again, as long as his left hand's free, he's good to go. Dropping right into his drag. Running down the angle. Looking to score. This is one of my favorite clips. So here, him and his opponent are finger fight, so basically wrist control. Um, now, the reason I like this one is because it gets the opponent so off balance before he drags. Right. Steps in and fakes. And just look at that lean he's created. Great level change too. This is something a lot of people, um, at least a lot of people um, when I coach miss on their fakes, getting their head underneath the opponent's body. We see this guy's feet go back and his body start to lean forward. And he's going to take his fake hand up to the drag. And then follow right in to a go behind, which end up turning into more of a leg attack. This man drags from a lot of different places. Um, the first one we looked at was just from wrist control. All right here we're gonna look from collar tie clear. So here we see him in his hand fight. Opponent reaches up, tries to control his head. The Gucci's gonna control his wrist. And then wrist roll it off right into his drag. Takes his hand down, attacks his armpit, right to the leg. Same thing here. Opponent's trying to grab Gucci's uh, head. Rolls it right off. All right. And here we see him do, there's a little bit of um, a head snap motion as he's collar tie clearing, so he rolls his head to that side to help create some space. Yet another place he'll get his drag from is when the opponent's shoulder posting or, or thumb locking, um, more of a straight arm on Higuchi's shoulder. Or, you know, either wrist snap with his hand or use his head here. We're gonna see a little combination of both. So here we see him take his head over and through the guy's wrist, also using his hand to snap through the guy's wrist. Snaps that wrist off, left hand catches armpit, looks to drag. Another straight arm wrist snap here. You can see the opponent's created some space and kind of leaning on him, which big mistake if the um, guy's got a good drag. So here we see Higuchi's right hand kind of do work. It's a little hard to see. So over here we're going to see his hand kind of snap down and through. Catching drag. Right into his attack. Here's one more place he can drag from. Um, so here he gets the opponent to reach up and attack his wrist. So he's just going shoulder post um, to keep some space again because he's fast. Where he can wrestle from a little further away than a lot of people. Opponent reaches up to take his hand off. Gucci goes right back up, 
to that shoulder post. And again, opponent reaches up, grabs wrist. Nikuchi's gonna roll it straight down into his drag. All right, so here we can actually see the sequence of um, more than just one shoulder post, which is part of his hand fight. Hand up, hand up, hand up. Opponent reaches up to try to control, and either he goes under their arm or gets their hand down and goes around it with either his speed or a drag. Again, Haguchi, not much of a control tie wrestler, um, but the one place that he will control um, sometimes is a right hand inside tie. So here we see him going through his little wrist fight and then ended up with right hand inside tie. And guess what he's going to do from here? He can drag. It's crazy. A bunch of different places for the same setup or same type of entry to the opponent's leg. It's a pretty good thing to think about for your own wrestling or for your athlete's wrestling. All right. So as they kind of fight for position in here, the drag from his inside tie opponent most of the time will be over top you can see his opponent has snaked his arm inside um, right here and there's likely pressure down from the opponent's arm so all Higuchi has to do is pretty much drop his inside tie and the opponent's hand will fall straight through into space right. so Higuchi drops his inside tie hand, and we can see the opponents start to lean forward, hand started to come down, and he reaches across straight into his drag. Right there. This is another clip from inside tie. So here we see him kind of half shoulder post, half reaching for inside tie. Opponent's hand comes over top. And again, I would imagine that there's some pressure down through Gucci's inside tie. Um, so that when he drops his hand, the opponent's hand falls straight through. And he can go right into his drag. All right, we'll move a little bit away from drags um, to some of his, but his other attacks he does. Again, he's keeping some spacing with that straight arm kind of post because he's fast, and it makes the opponents reach up and try to control his wrist. Um, from this position, he does um, what I'm just calling a wrist lift um, into his high crotch. So here we see him roll his hand down and then basically take it up over his head to open that window right into high crotch. Now, this is what I mean by him having fast hands because I you have to slow his stuff way down to see what's, what's uh, if his hands are doing anything that you're missing. All right. Um, said we're moving away from drags that's partially true All right, because here he even reaches his left hand across All right, so watch close he's gonna reach his left hand across and touch his opponent's elbow um, just like earlier on when he did fake drag to single here his fake drag is I would imagine to make the opponent pull their elbow away to make the window bigger for his wrist lift. Right. Oh, right there. It's hard to see, but this is Higuchi's hand, and it's touching the inside of his opponent's elbow. And I imagine that makes the opponent's elbow 
rotate out. Um, hmm, need a curved arrow. Uh, rotate out. A little more like that. And then he takes his hand up and over his head. Opponent finally is like, oh, I'm in trouble. I should let go of his wrist. And then right into his legs. Here we're going to see a similar thing. There it was. Hand coming across. Alright, so... Um, very similar attack, just from the opposite angle. Left hand comes across, and rotates to his elbow, touch, and then we can see Higuchi taking his wrist out and up to create that window, and again, opponent's elbow away from his side, and in the air, right in to his high crotch. So, Higuchi's drag is useful for a lot of different attacks that he's doing. Uh, these are more wrist lift attacks. The first two we looked at were from shoulder post. These are going to be from wrist already being down. So here we see his opponent is controlling his wrists. Right. Oh, there was this fake drag. It's crazy. He uses his drag, his drag for so much of his offense. And it's so fast. And hand over head. Right in the leg. Let's play this one full speed and just see how fast his um, fake drag is. See if we can catch it. Oop. There it was. There and gone. Super fast. All right. Um, similar thing in this clip. So they're finger fighting or trying to control wrists. Again, we see his hand come across and touch. All right, watch. We're gonna see his elbow disappear across his body to go for his fake drag. Right there. Wrist up and overhead. Right into his high crotch. Going back to his inside tie, um, there's another attack option other than his drag out of here. And it has to do still with his um, hand fight, or excuse me, his advantages as a wrestler, which is speed. And his hand fight goal, which is either get their hands up or um, get them down and across. All right, so here we see him. Inside tie, opponent shoulder posting, creating some space. All right, but as soon as you see this guy's elbow bend, he's gonna take his own elbow. Higuchi is gonna take his own elbow, lift it up, straight in to his high crotch. Very similar motion to his wrist lift. This is just an inside tie elbow lift. All right. Um, same thing here, so he's inside tie, opponent's over top. Don't give him that window to attack, because he'll take it. All right, but so he went, opponent went from shoulder post, keeping Higuchi away really hard to get a lift um, with his elbow from here, and to shoot through this kind of thumb block, shoulder block. Pretty difficult to shoot through, but as soon as the opponent's hand comes over top and his elbow's bent. Yuji says, thanks for the opening, dum-dum. Right into high crotch. 